Tonight, we honor nine individuals representing seven organizations doing work in environmental sustainability, economic opportunity, community development, and conflict resolution. They work throughout the world in the US, Africa, Indonesia, Latin America, Afghanistan, and beyond. Jeff, would you come join me? Imazon, Adalberto Verissimo and Carlos Souza Jr. Adalberto Verissimo, Beto, and Carlos Souza are recognized leaders in rainforest protection. Beto and Carlos have made it possible to measure and monitor the rate and extent to which we're losing the forest. Leveraging technical mapping and satellite imagery, they've developed the first independent deforestation monitor monitoring system for the Brazilian Amazon. Recently, the Brazilian government defined rigorous new limits to deforestation and committed to stop illegal logging, focusing on hotspot regions identified by Amazon. Imazon is working directly with public prosecutor's offices in Brazil to monitor deforestation to help enforce conservation law in 75 million hectares of protected areas and indigenous lands in the Amazon. Beto and Carlos. We are very thankful tonight. It's uh, an amazing moment for us. We are so very optimistic that it is possible to reduce deforestation in the Amazon region and develop this region for the people living there. We have a, a list of people that we'd like to thank. We'd like to start with Jeff and Sally. We are very thankful for your generosity. It is a, a big honor for us to be part of this co-family. And we also want to extend this thanks to the whole foundation, to the board members and to the staff. We would like to express our gratitude to our colleagues and friends from Amazon for their dedication and passion to conduct their work. We know that without this, we wouldn't be here tonight celebrating this extraordinary moment. This would not be possible also without the mentoring and inspiration of our friend, Professor Christopher Yu from Penn State University, who co-founded Amazon together with Beto and other Brazilians. Chris guided us in help us to become better researchers and social entrepreneurs. For that, we are very thankful. We are so grateful to our donors that over 20 years have supported us in conduct, to, to conduct innovative work in, in Brazil for sustainable Amazonia and to create a better place for the region. We, we know also that the positive impact of our work uh, cannot be achieved without uh, hundreds of organizations, private companies, indigenous communities, other NGOs and social movements that has been part of our work. Uh, Carlos and I would like to say a special thanks for our family for enlightening us in a very day and for supporting our journey many times far from the, from the home. Uh, we already feel the positive energy to be part of this call network. We learned a lot in the last three days, and we know that this is just the beginning. Inspiring stories of social entrepreneurs have touched us deeply, and our hurts and create even a strong motivation for us to continue our work, increase our sense of mission to help to create not only a sustainable Amazon, but to go beyond and help other folks that live in Africa and Southeast Asia to really help for the first time a, more, a global monitoring system that's going to cover a billion hectares of tropical forests that really have a tremendous value in terms of carbon environment service 
and especially in terms of cultural value as well. So, and again, thank you very much for this opportunity, and we're very pleased to be here.